spay and neuter is the number one way to prevent more of an overpopulation of unwanted pets across the country. So across the U.S. there's roughly 13,600 animal shelters nationwide and each year there's 7.6 million animals entering those shelters, 3.9 million dogs and 3.4 million cats. 2.7 million of those animals going into the shelters each year are getting euthanized. And if you broke that 2.7 million down, 1.2 million are dogs and 1.3 million are cats. Either they're getting owner surrenders or they're getting picked up as strays or whatever the case is, they end up in those shelters each year. That means that one animal every 13 seconds is getting euthanized in the United States 35% of that amount, which happen to be dogs, are actually making it out and getting adopted. And 37% of those numbers are cats and they're making it out and getting adopted. The 90,000 animals that enter the shelters each year, they're healthy and they're usually all under 18 months of age. There is like somewhat of 70 million stray cats in the United States. And a TNR, which is a trap, neuter, and release program, it's really simple to do. You know, definitely call your animal shelters, call your animal control. That's probably the easiest one to contact because it's a county facility and they have contact information. Check out their websites. You'll be able to get it done really cheap, if not for free. If you were to do it yourself, like let's say you had a cat in your neighborhood that just kept having kittens over and over again and you wanted to get them fixed, you could go to Animal Control or you could go to Home Depot and buy a trap yourself. It's basically your standard raccoon trap. You go ahead and set it. Usually put a can of cat food in, the cat goes in, the trap shuts. Just go ahead and cover it with a towel in the meantime. You take the cat in the morning to the facility that does it. Once again, it's animal control or a lot of the shelters locally have programs that they take the cats in the morning and they fix them for you. You get the animal fixed. They usually get microchipped, they get their vaccines, and they get a little ear notch at the tip of the ear. So a cat's ear, the very tip will have a little piece that's been cut off and it's usually on the left ear. And this is a universal sign to rescuers and trappers that that cat has been fixed. That way, if you set another trap and that same cat gets caught and if you see the ear notch, you can just release it because there's no need to bring them in. The other thing with the TNR program that's really good about it, if you have a pregnant female that keeps having litter after litter and you bring her in, they will go ahead and abort the litter if she is in late term pregnancy. And it's totally humane. Nothing is any different than a regular spay when it comes to the animal. You know, they definitely do need a little bit more downtime after the surgery, but I've never had an issue. I've done it to tons of cats. You know, if anything, it's better for your animal to be fixed. You know, that's what I try and explain to these people that think it's like such a horrible thing to get their animals fixed. It improves the overall health of our animals. As for the females, it prevents ovarian cancers and the males, it prevents testicular cancer. It's definitely been known to reduce bad behavior. It also saves you on veterinary care. Vaccines will be cheaper. You know, when it comes to rescuing animals, it's so very frustrating for me to see people that are just being careless and letting more animals just breed over and over again. The hardest part is finding forever homes for these animals. You know, we're running out of them. So this is why there's so many issues. You know, if I could, I would go to the shelter every day and take them out, but I have nowhere to put them. It's not because I don't want to, it's because who's gonna watch them in the meantime? If you have a cat that keeps having litters of kittens in your driveway, even if it's your neighbor's cat and they don't wanna do anything about it, you do something about it. Spay and neuter is the best way to stop euthanasia in the shelters. Let's reduce our numbers. I want the amount of 7.6 million dogs and cats each year to go down to zero. I hope those numbers really did impact you and they give you a little incentive to make right decisions when it comes to the pet population and being responsible pet owners. That's the point of all this guys, to really just get the word out, educate people and allow them to see things from a different perspective. So thanks so much for watching and getting involved.